help someone out, get into RC racing a little bit. I'm going down the straightaway. All right, we're going to do a little test drive of the Mini B and the BHC1 LC Racing. It's a 114 and a 116 buggy. The BHC is going to be a little bit longer. Definitely a big difference in size with the uh, arms. Just about everything on here. It's a huge difference in size. So um, let's go ahead and test these out. Uh, before we do that, let's look at them individually. Yeah, I think it's a 5900 KV, so it's a 24, I think it's a 2430. Uh, that's a smaller can size. I probably could bump up on size on that. It's a high boxing 2 in 1 ESC, 1000 mAh battery from high boxing also. Servo saver, I actually kind of glued, oh, I attempted to glue uh, solid, so we're going to see if that actually works. Yeah. Well, it's already ready to go, so that's our first one. And then our second one. That on just one pen. Second one is going to be the BHC. This is also running a headboxing ESC. I'm running a 1600 mile battery, it comes with a 1300 mile, so we're just running a bigger battery. I just want to see if the weight difference helps with uh, uh, the turning. It's a 2445 can size and it's a 5600 kV power button up front. Very simple design, very lightweight. I removed the, the um, battery straps and the mount and just running velcro so let's try this one out second run the, the, EM, the mini b first all right we're running the same transmitter on both cars this is a high boxing transmitter it has the steering door rate which is really important and makes a big difference on um, drivability on these cars so i run that in pretty much every car that i pretty much have uh, the WLs, high boxings. I won't run them on. I won't run them on LCs because um, I want a proper ESC and servo combo. But for these little guys, so we have to switch back to standard. This is just a standard uh, steering direction. We want to make sure that we have the correct do right in here. So that's what um, the ran red can um, surpass motors. They actually slow down on their own, almost like a drag brake. So that's one of the difference between the red can and the blue can. So this one's actually a red can and I haven't run a red can in a while and I can feel the difference instantly. So I think we're kind of dialed in now. Let's see if we can get a couple runs. That was terrible. This feels weird. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, so now that I've driven a lot of faster cars, now I have a certain range of speed that I can drive. And this one, even though it feels quick, I can definitely go a little bit faster on this one. This one feels very lightweight. Um, it feels extremely low to the ground. You can feel like it's hugging the ground pretty much. Those back tires give just a little bit, allow you to drift around turns a little bit more. I have broke my arm twice on doing that.
So I haven't technically figured out um, in regards to like the Surpass Hobby, the red can and the blue can. I haven't really figured out which one you would want for what. Um, I was thinking that you would possibly want the red can for like maybe like a, a steel gear or something that's a little bit heavier. Uh, that way it's a little bit easier to slow down. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, you could possibly use it for like racing if you're going to bring your, your nose down on a jump. A little bit easier to do. But um, it's just two different feels. The red can is also a little bit louder. It uh, has more of a grunt sound to it, like rasp to it. Oh, come on. These minis get stuck on these little pipes. You can't get them off. All right. If I remember correctly, I believe the speed on this one is about 29. It's been a while since I've done a speed run. I need to do a speed run on all my cars, update the speeds on them. So I'm constantly changing the motors out, changing pinions out. Um, for me, it's kind of just learning the tuning. I don't have the RC background, so I'm learning everything from scratch. And, um, you know, obviously I do do a, little, a lot of research. So. I test out some of the things that the pros say, I test out some of the things that beginners say, and just see what works. I think everyone's going to be different in regards to what works for them, so that's why... Um, yeah, that's kind of why I made the channel, just to kind of relay as much information as I could remember, or see, or you know, whatever I can do to help someone out, get into RC racing a little bit. So that right there was kind of cool. Um, I just let go of the throttle and that drag brake kind of slowed me down around the turn. So I think a red can might be good for a two wheel drive possibly. I don't know. Because the issue that I'm having with the BHC is that uh, it does have a, a lot of traction. So it will traction roll. Man, this car is so light. I feel like this car needs, um, different tires possibly not necessarily different but uh possibly maybe either a reglue it just seems like they're very uh soft extremely uh worn uh pushed in let me show you so on the side right here i'm not sure if that's normal but it's it's extremely soft oh that's me turning it on and off so my power button's right here on the side so I always turn it off by flipping it up on accident. Okay, so one of the things I do notice is that I'm not having the issue with steering. So I think gluing that servo saver down um, made a, a good improvement for me. I don't think I did it right the first time I tried doing it. I probably didn't add enough glue. So this time definitely drives a lot better. And I think that was one of the biggest issues I was having with this car was getting the alignment back straight. And in the servo saver, there was a, a slop point, slop dead point. So it would always have a direction, uh, left or right. So, so far, this one drives pretty good. I know the BHC one is a completely different animal, so you'll be able to see that one. And I broke something. Let's see what I broke. Uh-oh. Oh, looks like a little 
retainer. All right, so broke the mini bee. Definitely my fault, obviously. Um, yeah, I don't think that's gonna be able to be glued. So we'll get another one of those. So that was a mini bee. Um, really good vehicle. So let's turn this off. Turn off on the side. You're off. You're off. And let's turn you on. Turn you back on. Make sure you're on camera. Okay, high boxing ESC. And on this car, we want to switch back to reverse. And then trim it out again. Okay, so this is a 2445 5600 KV, and it's a direct drive, no slipper. Okay, it looks good. So, I'm not sure if that 1600 is going to make, a, make the car feel a little bit too heavy in the back, but I want to try it. So already I could feel this car is definitely faster. Oh man, that would have been bad. This car is definitely faster than the Mini B. Um, just obviously can size, that's a huge difference in can size. So until I get a, um, a sway bar, I think I'm going to have an issue with the turn because the, the pins on these tires have a lot of grip and turning on that, I have to brake quite a bit. So I don't know if that's normal for a two wheel drive, but not having a slipper braking uh, makes you want to kind of slide a little bit. So. Just trying to find the right settings for this car. Um, the sock was pretty good. I'm just trying the different you know, shock location holes and seeing what works better. So it looks like this ESC. I changed out the ESC because I was running the Q901 ESC originally. And that one had way too much braking for the slipper crutch. So this one has a lot less braking, but it's still pretty aggressive. For this um for the direct drive so let's see if we can get that turned down there we go a little bit better yeah that's got some insane amount of grip it literally locks up the tires on going down the straightaway It's definitely a little bit harder to drive this one because of the the very sticky tires. The tires in the rear are extremely grippy, so you got to be a little bit more cautious on turning and braking. So when I first originally got this car, 
and I made it brushless, um, especially when I made it brushless. I, I was so convinced that it had a slipper clutch because of the sound that it made. And come to find out, that's just the, the rear tire is just spinning out. <laughs> so it makes a slipper clutch sound, but it's not a slipper clutch. Uh, it's just uh, a lot of torque. Uh, that's a bad one. Uh, what I also did was I changed out the rear wing on my third run. Uh, was it third? Probably about fourth run, I would say. Um, I split the rear wing in the rear. And the reason why I split it is because I cut it for uh, the downforce here. I cut the, the groove down and that allowed it to have a flex point, like a soft spot. And it would actually split like in the back right there. So it wasn't bad. I, I didn't need to technically change it, but I changed it because I don't want to have to worry about that. So we're trims a little bit off again. Let's get you dialed in. So this car is quick. It has ex um, extremely quick acceleration. Uh, I think if you had a slipper clutch, you would have to run a 20, 2845 uh, can size motor in order to get the same uh, torque and quickness from it. So I know LC Racing does make an extremely fast black can 2850, 56, 5200 KB. And that thing in this car would probably be probably be uncontrollable to be honest with you so uh, maybe uh, I have a feeling that they actually might even include the 10 shock motor in the RTR version because I've seen some pictures and it kind of looked like um, 10 shock and LC racing might be linking up but who knows Car's running pretty good right now. No issues. Well, almost traction roll. So it's hard to compare these two right now because obviously the Mini B is a lot slower compared to this one. This one does go 36 miles an hour. The Mini B goes about 29, I believe it is, possibly even 28. Um, but control-wise, I would say the Mini B is definitely just a smaller version of what this feels like. This feels like an LC driving around the track. Um, Yeah, just, <laughs> just drives really well. I'm not really a fan of two-wheel drive cars, but this one is definitely worth getting. I also hear that um, if you're able to drive a two-wheel drive, you're able to drive anything. I think a two-wheel drive is pretty easy to drive, to be honest with you. Um, I don't think it's huge, huge difference between a two-wheel drive and a uh, all-wheel drive car. Just from what I feel, I think the turning might be possibly different, you know, how you take the turn, but everything else pretty much feels the same. Jumping ability, air control, feels very similar. Now that I actually have a car with a little bit more torque, um, I understand that two-wheel drive can have air control. I didn't think it could because my Mini B, oh, that was a battery. Um, my Mini B uh, has a smaller can size, so it doesn't have the torque that it needs. So these are the two different cars. The two buggies that are Mini. And those are the side-by-side. -side. Gotta get a new part here. And this battery just died. So that was a run time also on this one with a 1600 16, mAh. 
So it kind of gives you an idea of what this car can do. Alright, so that's the two cars. We'll test it on some other car uh, against some other cars later.